Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 106. <laughs> Sorry, I had to double check the rundown sheet. And we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2 The Sith Lords. And uh, we made our way through the Shirek Cave, and we are now in a secret tomb, unplundered and alone. Uh, we do have an interesting conundrum because. Um, all dark side things have uh, a bonus to saves against us. We have a negative to saves against them. And we will not regenerate force points while we're in here. So that's kind of important. Uh, what powers you use are going to be severely limited. I deeply suspect there's something on the other side of that door. I think I see a wing glitching through the door there. So, uh, all right, since it really wants to say hello, let's say hello. I. How are you? Let's, uh, kill the beasties. Come on, flurry. Flurry your finishing moves. I still say you ought to be able to get, like, a stake or something off of them. Surely they've got a couple of credits floating around, too, but, you know. Just saying. Uh-oh. Severed arm holding data pad. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to wait for that to turn up in the next D&D &D campaign. You're moving through an ominous tomb, and you find a severed arm holding a message. Before closed door. Okay, Arcadius, feel free to steal that one. Alright, so we got a stealth unit and a blown out data pad. The data pad is blown out and inoperable. However, its final message remains burnt into the display like a computer monitor from 1996. Sorry, I added that last part. The others were confident they could sneak past the Shirak breeding grounds. I was ordered to lock the door and await their return. I hope they can find us a way out of this tomb. These visions threaten to break through all the discipline I've gained in my training. Well, isn't that interesting? We do at least get confirmation that these are visions. Uh... Although the fact that all we find is a severed arm is more than modestly disturbing. Journal entry added. And we got a door. What's our journal entry? All right, you discover the data pad of a member of a Jedi expedition. Oh, well that wasn't clear from the data pad, but it is good to know that it is a Jedi expedition. To explore the hidden tomb, a further exploration of the tomb may reveal what became of the members of the expedition. You were confronted with a vision of the past when Malak recruited you and other Jedi for the Mandalorian Wars. You had to choose whether or not to go with Malak and the others. Just to double check. Yep, I am still at light side mastery plus three con. You can understand why I might want to check that, you know. Alright, let's uh pick this lock. There we go. Oh. Oh my. All right, um... You. You're going to be my first target. I'm going to burn through... Uh, the first of my points. Because I want the bonus that comes from Valor. Although, in retrospect, I probably should use it on speed. Yeah, that's a that's a lot of flying critters. That that seems Yeah, that's a, although they're not doing much in the way of damage, so at least there's that. Let's uh, just keep flurrying our way through there. Maybe I shouldn't maybe I shouldn't have worried about the valor. I'm a little too late now. Kill them! Kill them all! Kill all the bugs! Yeah, maybe the speed would have been better. I would have been able to get more attacks in on a round. 
And that could have uh, shortened this up just a little bit. Although my regen seems to be healing the health almost as fast as they're inflicting it. So there is at least that. Um, there are my force points, sadly not regenerating. Come on, flurry. Flurry! Just keep queuing up those flurries. Fast as they keep falling. 175 XP a pop is nice too. Not gonna lie. Uh oh, now I'm starting to lose health. That's not good. What's changing that they're landing attacks now? Or is it just the dice working against me? Uh, in case you missed the earlier references in the live streams, my dice hate me. A lot. I, 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 I try to compensate through superior skill points, but uh, there, there isn't much you can do to save from a one. Yeah, I think once this is done, I might hit up a regular med pack just so I, I don't use my heal and burn through my remaining force points. Because in retrospect, I probably shouldn't have uh, used them on this. Although, actually, I don't need to use the med pack. I get regen. Oh. Oh my. Okay. There's more of these guys. Let, let's see if they'll give me a moment. Is there anything hiding in the nest in the corner? No? Oh. Okay. Alright. Here we go. I still got Valor enabled anyway. Might as well use it while it's, while it's running. That uh, Valor gives me some bonuses to a couple of stats. Come on! Get him! Last critter! Seriously, dude. You just hit that bug for nine? You, wh what's your... Oh, okay, because the offhand is 9 to 31, so I got a low roll on that offhand attack. Alright. Uh, I'll I'll consider forgiving that. Alright, that gets us through the brood. There, there, There's nothing... Nothing? Nothing. Not a loot. Hey, thank you for the raid, Beast Lord. How you doing today? Oh, thank you for the follow, Pop Tart. I am like eight or nine follows away from making affiliate. Just saying. Um, <laughs> we are we're in the middle of a secret tomb on Korriban, and we're getting haunted by visions of past events. And uh one of the interesting things is because we are playing a light side character, look at that light and mastery there, we're taking a minus 60, I think it was, somewhere around there, a, a big minus star saves against any dark side powers, and they get a plus 60 or whatever it was to resist my powers. Oh, and did I mention... Our uh, force points do not regenerate while we're in this tomb. So while we're going through the, this, po this portion of the series, uh, any force powers I use are going to deplete points, and oop, they're gone until I finish the tomb. So uh, I I'm trying to be very conservative about them. Fortunately, my regular regen does work, so I am at least you know regenerating health. There is that. It's not. It's not a total wash. Um, I just. I wish there was something I could do to regen the force points. Cause, oh, I should probably also get another shield on too. <laughs> that that would be useful. Yeah, yeah. A more than a little hardcore. All right. Uh, hmm, that's right. I picked up a couple of these prototype shields. What do they do? Energy, sonic, cold, heat, and electrical for 170 points. That's nice, but um, energy, bludgeoning, piercing, and slashing seems to be a little bit more what I need. That's just bludgeoning, piercing, slashing, 40 points, 100 points. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, because I need the physical, I need the physical as well as the energy. So I guess I'll queue up another Mandalorian power shield. Glad I checked. Because <laughs> that would have been awkward. You know, you run into a major battle and, uh, let me equip my missing shield. Yikes. All right. You know what, let's, while well, well, I'm at a moment, let me go ahead and save that game. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I mean, I've had those moments where I go to start, you know, I go, all right, engage the shield. The, oh, hmm. That only has five uses and I've already used. Well, that can't be good. When walking around a Sith tomb and you see nothing but, like, uh, ominous purple power tentacles coming out of the floor, that, uh, that, that can't be good. All right. How bad is it? Uh-oh, another vision. Com says we've lost another heavy droid transport. How can we break through the Mandalorian lines without support? The path is mined and the place... How can you have any pudding if you don't eat your meat? I orders to press forward, but we're at quarter strength. We <laughs> can't, General. It's impossible. We need to retreat. All right. So I'm reliving another event from the past that I get to dictate how it actually played out or if I want to do it differently. Uh, so we've got our options here. This is Dixon, the heart of the Mandalorian Crusade. I remember we charged the line. The losses were terrible. We had to charge. Our forces were fully committed. We would either win the battle or lose the lore. There was no real choice. The battle is an invaluable opportunity. We will fight on. Um, I don't want to charge, and I don't... The way I've been playing the character so far, I don't think he would have charged even then. So let's go with the more neutral first answer, and this is Dixon, the heart of the Mandalorian Crusade. We know, General, but yeah, we just I know don't you know. have enough men to accomplish our objective, no matter how important. We already lost half the men just getting to the path. They've got the rest of the company pinned down by the crash site. You hmm. can't possibly ask the troops to go forward. If you ask us to charge, will it make a difference? Will our sacrifice mean <laughs> something? Oh, yeah. No, no, no. You could totally earn some dark side points and go, eh, go ahead and die. Uh, here's the funny thing, though. If you if you move far enough away from the light side, you can't finish this until you go earn some light side points because neutral characters can't, ma can't do this tomb. You have to be dark side or light side. Like, within a very small fraction from the extremes of either one. Neutral characters need not apply. Neutral characters can't even enter this area. So, that is one of those things that, that makes life really interesting. Alright, only Revan can answer... Yeah, um... Not... Not that I'm aware of. I mean, a, a, as a neutral character, you can use the dark side powers and the light side powers equally. Uh, they're both going to cost about the same. Whereas as you get more light side, the light side powers get cheaper uh, point cost wise and the dark side powers get more expensive point cost wise and vice versa. But as a neutral character, you get kind of the same, the same uh, for each. So that there is a way to try to do a middle path and play a gray Jedi, but it locks you out of stuff like uh, this tomb where you get some really good gear by the end and you get a chance to really explore the story. Technically speaking, you can complete the game without doing this tomb. So if you wanted to stay committed to the middle path and, and play a gray Jedi, you could do that. You're not going to like some of the limitations and options, but you could do that. These are choices people make. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, inside joke with Arcadius. All right. Um, I'm not going to do wall... Co oh, and this is the other thing. With all these history events you relive, you don't have opportunities to get light side points, but you do have opportunities to get dark side points. So you can hurt yourself through this. And you can seriously set yourself back. Um, I think... 
I think I'm going to go with the neutral first answer again. That only Revan can answer that. Even afterwards, no one could piece together exactly what happened. We won, though. We, we <laughs> exactly, a true test. You ask it. The path is mine. If you ask us to charge, there will be losses, General. All right. Uh, only casualties that mattered in the war were Jedi now charge. That sounds like a dark side option. Uh, we have our orders. We follow them. That sounds like an idiot option. I stand by my decision. At the time, it was the right thing to do. Eh. This time, this no. This time, I'll go up there alone. Thank you, General. Thank you. Because I also know that no matter what you do, um. How? I wonder if my demolitions, uh... No, I should be able to disable that. I know I don't have a high enough demolitions to retrieve it. Yeah, that is a lot of boom. I mean, I could just use the destroy droid and, and zap it, but I don't know if this Yahoo's close enough to it. Well, let me see what the DC is on recovery. Okay, that's what the DC is on recovery. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to stand back here. And I'm going to zap it from afar. I hate wasting... Uh, oh, that's right. That's going to deplete my force points. Alright, let me just go with disable then. I was at least able to pass the DC on that. I was tempted to just go through and, um, and zap them all, but... I just realized that that's going to kill my force point reserve. Ah! Well, okay then. Y'all gonna cross the bridge now that I at least uh, cleared it out? Because that would be really nice. Ooh. And again, we run into the question. I could do the wave, which will stun a few of those, but I'm not gonna regenerate force points, and I still got a lot more tomb to explore. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get a flurry, get a shield on the ready, and... I got a few more stims, so instead of the hyper, I'm just going to use the regular stimulant, though. And, uh, oh, journal entry added. Thank you. That's the worst time to let me know that there's a journal entry available. Come on, guys. Get in the fight. Although, standing in front of a Jedi with a double-bladed sword seems like a easy way to lose a everything. <laughs> All right. That's right. This was back when the Mandalorian armor was still good. <laughs> Yay! We won! And the vision's over. Yeah, exactly. No, you don't get full force... Oh! Oh, I did. Oh. Because I didn't get my force points back after the last one. That's good. I hope... I hope it continues like that, because everything I read indicated that you don't get any force points back, period. Like, what you walk in with is what you got. So, uh... That, that's good. I'm still gonna try to conserve them as best I can for each flashback then. Uh, because I know there's a couple more coming up. That's what I want. Show me the... Oh, just an iron rock. Also known as parts. All right, what about in the Foot Locker? What's in the Foot Locker? Ooh, that's a little bit better. Shock Staff, also known as parts, or credits. Uh, Dueling Shield, which I could use. Parts, another Iron Rocket, also known as parts. Construction Kit, which is worth keeping handy. Um, I thought this tomb was unlooted. Okay, so the Vision, yeah. I, I, knew, that, I knew that there was... I was under the impression that the entirety of the thing wouldn't regenerate, but it is good to know that uh, after after every flashback you get them, because that, <laughs> that then I don't feel as bad about using them uh, here and there. That is a long way down. I. I mean, there's no point in wasting the points on this guy. Although, if I had full regen, I would totally waste points on this guy. Because it makes it go faster. I like... Come on. Loot! Loot him! Loot him good! Nope. Okay. Uh... Seriously? There's nothing in here? Come on. That basket looks like it should be lootable. It's not. 
in this beautiful unplundered tomb. There's nothing in there? I mean, the last guy at least had a couple of bucks. Alright, well, you know, let me go ahead and save this while we've uh, passed another vision. Just in case something tremendously horrible happened. Alright. Uh, let me get one more area and then I will take a short breather. Oh, that's one of those evil critters. Hello, beastie. Alright, let's do this the hard way. <clears throat> or maybe... Oh, now my shield fails? Seriously? Fine. It's fine. It's only hit points. Those will regen no matter what. Come on. <laughs> Alright. So. There's that beastie. There's nothing there. Let's, um... Hmm. Poor guy. I know. He was just hungry. I should totally be able to make, like, a belt out of him or something, right? Can you get? Can you make some robes out of him? That that seems like it should be a nice armor value. Or no, I'm sorry. I'm thinking of D and D. <laughs> yeah, maybe in the next one. Uh, I I oh, thank you for uh, passing along that article by way of medic. Yes, yeah, Seth Hound slippers exactly. Uh, because it sounds like uh, Lucas Arts Gaming is going to be back in the running. Somebody's trying to petition them to. Let Bioware work on this. Now, Bioware was bought out by EA, so, you know, that that is cause for some concern. EA has a very um, mixed track record on games. I, I, I honestly... I'm deeply, deeply curious if LucasArts could go to Bethesda and get Bethesda to do Knights of the Old Republic 3. Could 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 we get the people who make Skyrim and Fallout to make Knights of the Old Republic 3? Like that that would be awesome. It's probably not going to happen. But that would be awesome if we could. Like, like maybe we should start, you know, get getting the the whispers out there, and maybe somebody at LucasArts will pick that up and, like, uh, you know, go, you know, Fallout Four and Skyrim did really nice. Like, y you know, not the old Republic kind of open world MMO, but an open world RPG in the vein of. Skyrim and Fallout that that has some potential that could be fun do you know how many days months I would lose playing that game it'll be awesome alright let's pick this lock dead Jedi well I certainly didn't think he was alive let's check the rubble before we <laughs> that that's got yeah I can dream I can dream that would be that would be phenomenal alright so the je dead Jedi rather ominously placed in the center of the room wait he's got two lootable thingies oh okay that's just a glitch he's got an improved ion energy cell which could be nice I don't see a crafting table in here so I guess I can't make any use of that just yet and neblish 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 relish no um, this is the journal of the Jedi neblish most of the data has been purposefully deleted one entry remains the visions the visions they thought to trick me by taking the form of my fellow Jedi, but my discipline is so strong, I tricked them back. One fell to the Shirak, and the others fell to my lightsaber. This seems like Star Wars written by Edgar Allan Poe. Like, like 
Am I the only one who, who's feeling that kind of vibe right now? Star Wars by Edgar Allan Poe. Once upon a midnight dreary. <laughs> Ooh, I get XP for reading a pad. Nice. And, uh... No, okay. I thought there was an update to the questicle. Guess not. Oh! Oh, there is something in here. Hello. Jedi's gonna get some new boots. Come on, stake in new boots. <laughs> if you haven't read the uh, the Furies of Alderaan, that is a it's a book series that started out really good. Uh, it is finished, so it's not like you got to worry about running into you know an unfinished series. I would hate to recommend an unfinished uh, fantasy series. Uh, but the Furies of Alderaan were, were pretty good book series, all told. Uh, you, you could see where the author kind of had some cha life changes, and it changed the storytelling and a lot of that other stuff. All right. So here's where I'm going to go ahead and take a break. If you're new to the live stream, the way this works is on Fridays I live stream... Uh, it, this is basically a live-to-tape recording in the next six episodes that'll get posted up on YouTube. So I, I insert a cut, talk like it's going to be an outro, but it's not an outro for the live stream. It's only an outro for the video that gets posted on YouTube later. So that means if you're on the live stream right now, hang tight. Don't go anywhere. I'm not done yet. If you're watching this later on YouTube, then I guess you're going to have to find out what happens next when the next episode airs. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, back even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee then uh consider going giving a little bit especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play and uh with all that said and done we're uh we're gonna cut out have fun enjoy and i'll see you next time